Hi, this is Erin Peliquin for MCP Actions. Today I'm going to show you how to edit photos in batches in Lightroom. I am going to use our MCP Infusion presets and apply them very efficiently to these six photos we're looking at. Now there are two ways to batch edit in Lightroom. The first one is to edit a group of photos together. So to do that, I'm going to click on the first photo that I want to edit, and then I'm going to hold down my Shift button and click on the last button. You can see that I now have three photos selected at the bottom of the film strip here in my Develop module of Lightroom. I want to confirm that Auto Sync is displayed on the button at the bottom of the film strip. If yours says Sync instead of Auto Sync, you're going to want to switch the light switch to toggle back to Auto Sync. As long as multiple photos are selected and auto sync is displayed, any edit that I apply to one of these photos will be applied to all selected photos. So for this image, I'm going to fix the underexposure. I'm going to apply the flash white balance and then I'm going to tweak it just a little bit because I had some natural sunlight coming in in addition to my flash. So I'm going to reduce the yellows and the greens and I like that. Next, I'm going to apply the color base with highlight protection at 50%. And then I'm going to apply the obsession overlay to add some contrast and color pop to this image. Scrolling down to the color tweaks, I am going to calm the reds. This creates a slight calming in the reds in her skin tone, a very subtle calming. I'm going to apply the enclosed number two vignette. And finally, high def sharpening number one. So you can see now that in just about six or seven, maybe 10 clicks, I've applied seven presets to three different photos. And I could have selected as many photos as I wanted to from the series in my photo sheet. Now, just to show you before and after on this image, I went from there to there. After you've batch edited your photos, it's a good idea to deselect the images by typing Command or Control D, and then looking at each edit individually to make sure that that photo doesn't need any specific tweaks on its own. For instance, with this one, I want to lighten up the shadows in her hair. I didn't need to lighten the shadows in the other two photos necessarily. Now for these last three photos, I'm going to use the second method of synchronizing edits. You use this method after the fact. So I've already edited this displayed photo, and I want the others to be edited exactly the same way. So I've got the first one selected, and I can either hold down Shift and click on the last one to select them all, or I can use my Command or Control key to click on individual photos that I want to select. Using Command or Control is good when you want to edit photos that aren't contiguous or next to each other in your film strip. Since I've already got my first photo edited, now I want to toggle back to Sync. We use Sync for batch editing after the fact. We use Auto Sync for batch editing at the same time going to click on the sync button and it's going to give me the option of configuring which settings should be synchronized. So this is going to vary depending on your photo and your editing needs. Um, in this case, because the images were all taken in the exact same lighting conditions, my white balance and exposure is going to be the same, so I want to leave those on. Now my crop is not going to be the same. Spot removal is not going to be the same because whatever spots on her face that I want to remove are going to be in a different location on the photo, um, on this photo than they are in a different photo. I usually leave my local adjustment brush off for the same reason. Now when you're using an MCP preset, like the presets in Infusion, you want to leave on as many of these settings as possible because you probably don't know each and every setting that we use to program the presets. However, if you are applying presets to a group of images that don't necessarily have the same exposure and white balance conditions, you can leave those off if you want to. If you are applying one of the looks, like we applied the obsession look to this photo, that's a good time to keep as many settings on as possible. 
Um, so when you look at this, it's a good idea to select check all and then turn off the ones that aren't going to be consistent from photo to photo in your particular edit. So in this case, I'm going to keep everything else on and select synchronize. And you can see that those edits have now been applied to the remaining photos in my film strip. So I've edited these seven photos. The editing looks are exactly consistent. Um, and I've done them all with a minimal amount of clicks. I hope this video has showed you exactly how easy and quick batch editing can be in Lightroom. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy your presets.